Hey everybody, I am back with a really quick tip video today, and this video is going to talk about the importance of locking the CTS wardrobe HUD on your avatar. Why do you want to lock the HUD? Well, if you automate dressing through RLV with CTS wardrobe, that process 100% relies on that HUD being attached to your avatar. If at any point in that process the HUD isn't there, the whole process stops. So anytime you want to replace your entire avatar, use a base avatar, or pardon me, a base outfit, anything like that, that HUD has the chance of coming off and therefore stopping the dressing process. To prevent that, and really my recommendation is anyone who uses RLV at all for dressing with wardrobe should be locking the HUD on. But to prevent it ever coming off, what you need to do is come to your HUD, expand it out if it's not already, and click the three green lines. And from there, you're going to click Setup. And this button right here in the middle is the one you're looking for. It says Unlock HUD on mine, but if your, yours is not locked, it will say Lock. And you want to keep it locked. It's not good enough to put a copy of the wardrobe HUD into your base outfit or into any of your saved outfits and hope that that works, because if it ever comes off, like I said, the whole process stops. So my recommendation, again, is just keep this thing locked, unless you're really just using wardrobe as a visual reference, and it's not such a big deal. Anyway, quick tip video, didn't want to take too long. Uh, that covers it. Lock the HUD. That will prevent a lot of issues. Thanks very much to <laughs> one of our CTS wardrobe users who was uh, bringing this up to me this morning. It's a great tip, probably one I should have included a long time ago, and probably should have been mentioned more completely in my outfits videos. But here it is now, quick tip, lock that HUD. All right, thanks everyone for watching, and I will talk to you next time.